So now we'll go with the next question, right? So, okay. So what is saying now? Sheridizing. Okay. So not that one. Above one we have still. Above one we have. So current is produced. Current is produced. A Daniel cell in a Daniel cell here in a Daniel cell due to the following reaction. Daniel cell. First of all, tell me guys, what is a Daniel cell? Right. We know Daniel cell is nothing but okay. Daniel cell is nothing but what it is. It is electrochemical cell. What it is? It is electrochemical cell. Right. Daniel cell is nothing but the electrochemical cell. So what is saying current is produced in a Daniel cell due to the following reaction, right? So if a reaction to happen, then what we required, we required the anode reaction that is oxidation. Anode reaction is nothing but what? Always oxidation takes place at anode, right? So anode reaction we required that is oxidation we required and at the same time, at the same time we require cathode reaction also required cathode reaction. So what is cathode reaction? It is nothing but reduction. It is nothing but what? Reduction, right? So uh, like what I told you, if a reaction, if a current is to be produced, then the reaction is necessary from both sides. Then the reaction is necessary from both sides. What are that? Those are anode and cathode reaction. Anode happens at, uh, oxidation takes place at anode and reduction takes place at cathode. So both are required, right? So let us see the reactions here. So if you see here, here only zinc is dividing into ions. That means here only zinc is acting as anode. Here only zinc is acting as anode and only anode reaction is there. Only anode reaction. Is that enough? Is that enough for current producing? Definitely we require two types that is anode and cathode reactions, right? And here if you see Cu giving Cu giving some electron, this is cathode reaction. This is cathode reaction, right? That is here there is oxidation and here there is reduction. Here there is oxidation and here there is reduction, right? So these both are singly not enough. If these are combined together, na, right? If the combination of these, that means anode and cathode reaction, anode and cathode reaction. If these both are there, if these both are there, then we can get the current at a time. So third option, let us see. So Zn giving C plus plus, Zn plus Cu plus plus gives Zn2 plus plus Cu, right? Zn plus Cu2 plus gives Zn2 plus plus Cu. That means here we have both reactions. Here we have both reactions to happen. Then definitely this can be enough to produce the current, okay? Anode plus cathode, both we have. What we have? Anode plus cathode, both the reactions we have in order to produce the current. That means this is enough, right? Because zinc acts as anode and it is undergoing oxidation, right? Zinc acts as anode and it is undergoing oxidation. So copper acts as cathode and it is undergoing reduction. It is undergoing reduction. So this is the required option, okay? Right? So that was, so take it now, now we'll go with the next question, okay? I hope you are clear. In order to produce the current, we required two reactions. That is, we required the anode reaction and at the same time, we required the cathode reaction also. That means oxidation and reduction. If these both happens, then we'll produce the current, okay? Right? So that is, take it down. Now we'll go with the next question. So what is saying? Sheridizing is a method in which iron is coated with, right? See? What did I tell you? We have discussed many different types. Like we have discussed the cop, uh, what sheridizing method, like a metal spraying, all these methods we have discussed, isn't it? So in that, what did I tell you? Sheridizing means what? We have seen like different methods like anodizing, chromizing, sheridizing. In this way, we have seen all this, isn't it? So among that, sheridizing means what did I tell you guys? Sheridizing means what did I tell you? I told you that we are having a powder. We are having a powder. That means the metal which is to be coated, the metal, the metal 
which is to be coated on the other metal the metal which is to be coated on a another metal it should be made into some powder it should be made into some powder then you need to spray it on the another metal right so sheridizing is nothing but the and particularly we are having a metal that metal is what it is zinc okay it is zinc so only zinc is a metal which is used in the sheridizing so we have to take this zinc and we need to make it into powder so that it is called as what it is called as a zinc like zinc powder or zinc dust we can say zinc powder or zinc dust so take we need to consider that one and we need to take that zinc dust and we need to spray it on the another metal we need to spray it on the another metal so sheridizing is what it is the spraying of the another metal spraying of the another metal on the what on the uh, uh, to get to protect it from undergoing corrosion so zinc dust we need to use okay so sheridizing is zinc is made into powder then it is called what then it is called zinc dust then it is called zinc dust okay so where it is aluminium dust it is not right we don't consider it as a sheridizing copper turnings is not so magnesium dust is also not so zinc dust okay so zinc dust is used into powder is made into powder and it is coated on the another metal in order to protect it from the corrosion so then we call, call it as what only zinc dust is called as a sheridizing process okay is that clear so that is the question we have right now if you see here when zinc sulfate when zinc sulfate is stirred is a stirred with the iron rod if zinc sulfate is stirred with the iron rod then zinc dissolves iron precipitates zinc dissolves and precipitates no reaction takes place so tell me guys how to identify this so i told you we are having the lithium potassium sodium magnesium zinc ferrous aluminium so on hydrogen and in this way this is a electrochemical series this is what this is a electrochemical series which is placed in the decreasing order of oxidation or increasing order of reduction which is placed in the decreasing order of oxidation or increasing order of reduction right now what is saying when zinc sulfate solution zinc sulfate solution is stirred is stirred with the iron rod with the iron rod then zinc dissolves iron precipitates zinc dissolves and precipitates no reaction so i told you if a more active metal if a right so let me write here okay right so if a if a more active metal is placed in a less active metal solution right so consider it as a beaker now this is a consider it is less active okay it is less active solution less active metal solution what it is it is less active metal solution that means here we are having the less active metal solution now insert insert a rod insert a rod this is this is more active metal this is more active metal right this is more active metal so if the more active metal is placed in the less active metal solution less active metal solution then what happens then what happens okay if we are having the more active metal solution inside uh, right if uh, if i am having the less active metal solution inside and if i am stirring it with more active metal then what happens this less active metal solution this less active metal solution is completely replaced is completely replaced okay then what happens then what happens then right this if what it is more active metal solution more active metal rod and if this more active metal is used to into the into to stir the less active metal solution then this less active metal solution ions are completely replaced by 
this more active metal this more active metal and in case in case consider the same one okay consider the same one uh, let me write here okay I'm raising this guys take it okay so what we have here here we have what it is this is more active metal this is more active metal solution more active metal solution here we are having more active metal solution now what I'm doing I am inserting a rod I am inserting a rod which is of what which is which is less active metal which is less active metal okay right so this is a more active metal solution and I am inserting what I am inserting the less active metal uh, rod then what happens as we are having the more active metal solution if you insert the less active metal into that no reaction takes place no reaction takes place I told you already very clearly right if you are inserting the less active metal into the more active metal solution then no reaction takes place right and if you are inserting the more active metal sol more active metal into the less active metal solution then then this complete less active metal solution is removed and uh, more active ions are formed there more active ions are formed there now which is more active how we do how do we know if the metal which is in the top of electrochemical series the metal which is above the top like in the top of the electrochemical series then they are more active that means these are having okay these are more active these are more active if you come down now right if you come down from top to bottom now right if you come down from top to bottom then then oxidation will decrease then the activeness of a metal will also decrease the activeness of a metal will also decrease when when you come from top to bottom when you come from top to bottom okay so above always we are having more active metals and below we are always having less active metals right so when zinc sulfate solution is stir with iron rod where is zinc zinc is above zinc is above is stirred with what iron rod where is iron it is below it is below then what is saying this is a zinc sulfate solution and the metal is iron metal so which is active which is not active tell me iron is below iron is below zinc is above iron is below and zinc is above then which is more active zinc is more active zinc is active right and iron is less active iron is less active okay zinc is more active iron is less active right now what is saying more active metal solution we have more active metal solution that means the solution is of more active metal and iron is less active now because it is below zinc is above so zinc is more active so what is saying zinc sulfate solution we have that means the solution is of zinc sulfate it is stirred with the iron rod it is stirred with the iron okay so this is zinc is saying and this is this rod is iron rod is saying okay so zinc sulfate solution we are stirring with the iron that means this is less active this is more active what I told you if less active metal is stirred in the more active metal solution then no reaction takes place then no reaction takes place so directly option 4 is our answer okay no reaction takes place okay so zinc dissolves no zinc precipitates no zinc dissolves and precipitates also no because however here zinc is above iron is below so zinc is more active iron is less active so if more active metal is put in the less active metal solution then it happens then the precipitation will happen but what is doing less active metal is stirred in the more active metal solution that is iron is stirred in the zinc iron is used and it is stirred in the zinc so obviously no reaction takes place because iron is less and zinc is more reactive okay right so that is what right so take it down guys we will go with the next questions I hope you are clear up to now okay so make a note now we will see the next questions okay